At Ruta Bay, if you or someone you know is getting ready for a new address in the new year, mail forwarding scams are a quick and easy way to get ripped off. Mail forwarding, it's probably one of the easiest things about moving. Just give the U.S. Postal Service your old address, your new address, and your credit card. It takes a couple of minutes and costs a dollar and ten cents. But scammers have found a way to charge 80, 90, even almost 100 bucks, offering the same mail forwarding service. One site even signs you up for a $70 yearly subscription. Scammers are really good at making great looking fake websites. Judy Dollison is the president of Central Ohio's Better Business Bureau. She explained how third party websites are popping up at the top of Google searches for terms like mail forwarding and change of address with the goal of ripping people off. When someone goes to make a change to their address, either for the post office or for another company even, they are misled into thinking they are making this change through the U.S. Post Office. I went through the steps on one of those websites. Unlike the USPS, the charges were hidden in a paragraph of fine print. When I looked into that website a little more, it was linked to an address in Utah. It had ties to a different name, offering the same service with an F rating on the BBB's website. Thankfully, Dollison says there's one quick and simple way to avoid falling for the facade. Don't Google it. Do independent research before you go to that website. Make sure it's a legitimate site. Mainly, go straight to USPS.com. That's the best idea, yes. Another great rule of thumb if you're paying for anything online, use a credit card instead of a debit card. That way, if anything does go wrong, you can dispute the charge. Ruta Bay. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.